Texas, USA, April 8, Severe weather accompanied by a large hail has hit several areas in Texas, causing chaos and some damage. The excitement over the total solar eclipse has been lost due to severe thunderstorms across the state on Monday evening. Oh my god. Oh my god, that is utterly stunning. In several videos circulating on social media, large hail and strong winds were reported to have hit Ball Springs, Mesquite, Rowlett and surrounding areas, triggering outdoor warning sirens. The majority of North Texas is now under a severe thunderstorm watch until 4 a.m. Gulf ball size hailstorms will be the main threat and wind gusts of up to 70 miles per hour. Some local residents said the hailstones varied in size. Some were as big as peanuts and some were as big as tennis balls. There were also reports of broken car windows and major damage to vehicles. The hail ripped through the trees and littered the ground with leaves, leaving a smell similar to freshly cut grass. According to media reports, strong winds and hail seriously disturb visibility when driving. Several drivers also decided to stop because the hail was not only heavy, but damaged the window of their vehicles. Previously, the National Weather Service Fort Worth had predicted the threat of large hail and possible tornadoes, which were expected to hit Central and North Texas just hours after the peak of Monday's tunnel solar eclipse. A line of thunderstorms moving north into the region, driven by unstable air, will approach the I-20 corridor at 3 to 4 p.m. Monday. The turn in weather will surely interfere with past eclipse cleanup and travel. Many Texas towns on the enviable spine of Totality have parlayed their good fortune as willing hosts to this heavenly soil. Millions are expected to travel south to Texas to experience the once-in-a-lifetime celestial phenomenon. The first round of storm occurred after 8 p.m. and were widespread when several storm hit parts of Dallas and Kaufman County. 
A second wave of storms coming from the west will arrive in North Texas around 11 p.m. and keep the potential for severe weather alive overnight and into Tuesday morning. The main threats overnight were golf ball side sail and winds gust reaching speed of 70 miles per hour. The threat of tornadoes remains low but cannot be ruled out, especially southeast of DWF. Oh my god! The storm will begin to subside around 3 a.m. before the next storm hits before noon. With heavy rain predicted in the next 24 to 48 hours, the threat of flash flood is also increasing. Areas around the I-35 North Corridor could receive up to 3 inches of rain on Wednesday. East Texas to Tyler could see up to 4 inches. Oh my God! <laughs> Meanwhile, other disruptions are also expected on Tuesday, with the threat of severe storms and even the risk of flooding. The wet weather is expected to continue on Wednesday, with a 70% chance of rain. After that, rain is likely in our area and temperatures will rise throughout the week. Oh my god I think I'm glasses right there. <laughs>